I'm Taylor Powers, joined by head football coach Chris Valerial. And Chris, before we recap this week uh, against Delaware State, a really nice uh, way to go out for these guys, final home game on senior day and a 42-8 win over Wagner. Just uh, talk about what you like from that performance. You know, what I really liked is uh, and we came together in all aspects of the game. I thought defense played very well, offense played well, special teams played well. Um, but most importantly, I, I thought our seniors uh, as a whole um, led, the, led the team well, and, that, and that's huge. I thought Dejan Lee had a, a career day out there. He, he played at a high level. Christian Eubanks played very well, Nick Ronella. Um, and, and that's a very special group there. And uh, to see them guys play at a high level and, and stop, you know, like we said, you know, they stopped the bleeding at home. And we were able to go out and perform well at home, um, get a victory at home. I thought that was huge. And I thought the performances that they had on both sides of the ball were big. I thought uh, defensively, we you know we did very well against uh, their passing attack. And I thought offensively, we Jason did a tremendous job of controlling the game, giving. Uh, I mean, they, that's a very good defense. You know, that defense gave them uh, some some different uh, uh, you know coverages and things like that. He took what they gave him, and you know we were very successful. Um, and then obviously JoJo having a. Um, a great day out there would, would really help uh, uh, solidify a, a total game for us. It's been no secret we have a young team slated mm -hmm. to return nine starters on offense next year, nine starters on defense. And your theme throughout the year is uh, I just want these guys to get better every week, mm -hmm. better every week. And uh, we may have played our two best games of the season the last two weeks going up uh, to NEC champion CCSU, a nationally ranked team. And outgaining them in total yardage, taking that game into overtime, and then last week. Uh, can you just comment on the team's progress and, and kind of, um, to your point, getting better week in and week out? I think what the team is doing is they're, is they're holding each other accountable. Um, you know, they're, they're coming to meetings. Guys are asking great questions in meetings. Uh, guys are getting out early in practice. So, I, you know, I think that they're, they're really coming together. Um, but the thing is, is now we're, we're making strides. We're getting better. Now, now you have to learn to be consistent. That's the next thing you have to learn. You have to learn to be consistent. But I'm very happy. I, I think our, our coaching staff uh, has really come together um, uh, in a tough time. You know, we lost one of our coaches, defensive coaches, uh, for a couple of weeks. I thought the staff really picked up really well. Um, and nobody afraid. Uh, everybody answered the challenge. I think um, both our coordinators are now getting comfortable um, in, in their new positions. And uh, I think that it's only going to get better. We're going to grow. Um, you know, but we, you know, we have to keep experimenting with things and, and try to stay ahead uh, uh, of, of the learning curve with our guys. And um, that's going to be the, the, the key to it all because it's not what we know. You know, obviously it's what they know. So, but it's been very exciting. Um, and we have, you know, it's real exciting because we get a, another opportunity. We have another opportunity Saturday uh, <laughs> against another big football team. Uh, and, and their coach is turning that program around. And obviously they want to end on a high, a high note as well. So uh, it's going to be a 60-minute battle. And another area we've shown, shown some growth is at the quarterback position, and mm -hmm. in particular Jason Brown, first-year starter, uh, who's really come on every week. Uh, last five weeks, he's thrown for three touchdown passes in each of the last five weeks. Uh, last week set the school single season record has a chance to become the first 3,000-yard passer in single-season history this week. Uh, where the future's pretty bright at the quarterback position with Jason here for three or two more years after this year. Yeah, you know, Jason, uh, with his relationship with him and Coach McCor, uh, as they keep developing, he keeps developing that rapport with his receivers. Uh, and the rapport with his offensive line um, is going to be huge. But uh, we're very excited um, with Jason. Um, you know, Jason, uh, we, you know, we don't want to give him too much. Um, we just want him to keep developing, we want him to keep um, learning, you know, the scheme. And like I said, that, that relationship between him and Coach McCor is going to be uh, a huge factor in that. Now on to the, the Hornets, Delaware State this weekend, uh, final game of the regular season. And uh, just talk about the importance of ending the year on a two-game winning streak, trying to get to 500. I know there were some tough losses early, but the team's been very resilient. Mm -hmm. um, they've kept plugging at it. They've kept getting better every week. Uh, how important would it be to go out with a win here in a 6-6 six and six record? I think it's very important. Uh, but, again, you know, I don't want to look at records and, and, and statistics. Obviously, we just want to keep getting better. Um, and, and we're going on the road. It's going to be, uh, you know, we're going into a totally different environment. And it, it's they're, uh, they're a team that's growing. They're a team that's uh, – um, 
playing at a high level and they got some players. So uh, we just got to keep improving and, you know, we got to control what we can control and, um, and take care, you know, take advantage of, of the situations when they occur that uh, we need to take care of. But the biggest thing is with this team right now is we have to keep believing uh, and believe in ourselves and, and believe that uh, in our individual matchups and we just have to keep believing. And uh, I think we're doing a really good job of that. And again, it's going to, this is going to be a great uh, test for this this program, and uh, we're looking forward to, uh, you know, lacing it up again one more time, one more opportunity, and, and uh, you know, trust the process, and everything else will take care of itself. The Red Flash welcomed Delaware State to Loretta last year. That was a 45-14 win again. Nick Ranella had a punt return, um, some big plays. You can watch this year's matchup on ESPN Plus, 2 p.m. on Saturday. Coach, best of luck, and thank you for your time. Right, again, I appreciate your support, guys. Thank you.